And this is UGTV Girl Talk Season 2. It's cr- Johnny, I don't know how we got here. I don't know. I don't know how this happened, but this is Season 2. That's Period. Shout out to season and it's me and you. Divine hey. intervention, baby. It hey. is, that's what it's supposed to be. Hey. You already know. We gonna you get into know. it. I love the sound of that. It's the divine intervention. You already know. And it and and if y'all watching right now, even if y'all listening and 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 y'all can't see what I see, ma'am, we got Allegra lining up. She lining up the the the, the, the manuals, the books. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm lining it up. Hold on, I see a little water over here. My car is bougie. They don't like to get wet. It's mm-hmm. okay. And so I'm gonna just dust the table off a little bit. But yeah, I'm going ahead. I'm a, I'm a, you feel me? We already lit the stage. The energy is here. And we are actually in a historic place. Like I just got, like while we were taking shots, I got like a little history about the place that we're in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's given, this was like the Al Capone, like drink house or something, or yeah. you feel me? So it's a lot of gangster history and it's your favorite bougie ghetto gangsta. <laughs> so I love it. I can't wait to see what the car is gonna say. Cause I feel like the ancestors are in here, y'all. I ain't so gonna lie. Before we get to pulling cars, I wanna know. Of course. I see you yeah, got we a gonna get into our girl talk first. I'm just setting them up. It's definitely for girl sure. Talk, yeah. I see you got a couple of different decks, so I want you to break that break down the difference of the decks that you have. Okay, period. That's a really good question. So um, I'm gonna take my little fur cut off, my little pink panther, because we're getting hot. So <laughs> flips here. So I actually have two oracle decks with me, um, and oracle is more so your guidance, your advice, what you need to do moving forward, what you need to be grateful for, things like that. Mm-hmm. Where your tarot is your tea, honey. Mm-hmm. Your tarot gonna tell you what's the tea giving, mm-hmm. like what, who, what, where, when, why, what, what what's mm-hmm. what's going on. So I've got my anime tarot, and my anime tarot is my favorite one because they got like anime cartoon caricatures on it, mm. and that's just so raw to me. Like I don't know why, but like it's just so raw. Like I love it. This is my actual favorite tarot deck, the anime tarot. Um, shout out to Vox Arcana, um, per. Uh, y'all need to do a collaboration with your girl. But yeah, it's very much given. This is the tarot deck, and then I brought the Universal Love. So my universal love deck is what I go to when I do like love readings or we need to get kind of like a love message or that's the vibration. And then my other favorite oracle, the unicorn's tarot, because baby, I'm a unicorn. So the unicorn's tarot is my favorite. Like each card has like a picture of like different unicorns and they tell you different things you need to know. I bust this deck out like if I'm doing readings for like my creative clientele or like my out the box people. You know what I'm saying? Cause unicorns are just mystical creatures, honey. So I saved this deck for my special beings. That's why I had to bust it out for here, duh. Absolutely. <laughs> and then I just want to talk about like, that's why the topic for today's girl talk is going to just be about feelings and like visions Absolutely. and seeing, seeing things that maybe like, you know, they always say if you can visualize it, you can be it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if we can see it, no matter where we get our guidance from, whether it's from religion or from, and I, and I, and I do want to ask you your point of view about that. Like, because some girls might be scared. I know uh-huh. if we do a tarot card reading tonight, this will be my very first tarot card reading. I have never done it before because really? I've been kind of like fake. I'm fake scared, which, you know, I'm like, uh-huh. dang, okay. And can I believe in two things at once? I I mean, absolutely. That's just like if people feel like they can love two people at once or something. I don't know. But it's just like. You been like that before, AD? Never. You ain't been in love with two people before at the same time? I barely like people. So for me to have two people at once would be an anomaly, baby. Like, I don't even like humans. Like, literally. (laughs) Like, so two at once? No, I ain't never experienced that. But. It's very much given, yeah, like, you could believe in what you believe in and still be open to X, Y, Z because it's like, says who? Says who? Like, you feel me? It's like life is literally what you make it. It's not about religion. It's not about politics. It's it's not. not about marriage or it's just literally about being on this realm learning the lessons you here to learn so your ass ain't gotta keep reincarnating back on here because you ain't learned your karmic lessons like literally so i mean and i don't want people to 
oh, you got to believe in what I believe in. Like, I have friends, literally, that don't mess with the cards. And I respect that. I still love them. They still my girls. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, or just people in general. Like, I'm not trying to push people to believe in what I believe in. But... I'm just here to be your Rusa. The girls that get it, get it. If you're a 5D being, if you're into tarot, you're into crystals, you know what TF is going on, like, then, yeah, you're going to get it. And I'm not really into converting people or I'm not that girl. Like, the people, it's, it's some so many woke people on this planet. That's my audience, mm -hmm. period. And the people that are curious or would like to get woke, would like to get hip, that's my audience. Mm. Close minded. If you, I, you know what? Stay where you at. Let Jesus come get you. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? You let you feel me? Or and that's no shade. Like my mama probably gonna be like, don't say that, Allegra, mm. Jesus. But you know what? It's just you feel me. It is what it is. But your girl is all about the positive frequencies. All about the positive vibrations. Nothing low. Nothing negative. Like God body. Period. But I want to kind of piggyback on the what what you were saying before when it comes down to the says who type of thing and what yeah. you were saying like when it comes down to serving like two like is it two or is it just one? It's supposed to be one, and it's crazy. <laughs> Look, we gonna get into some shit. It's supposed to be it's one, and I feel like a lot of. Look, we get into the Christian. We get, we got. But, hey, no, hey. but no, like it's feeling like sometimes I feel like Christians they give all the credit to Jesus, but what about God? Like it's always thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Like and that's no shade because mm. that is an honorable. I'm not gonna say in our culture, but that's like an honorable prophet. Like let's be for real. Like if people want to say Muhammad's the prophet, that's an honorable prophet. We're not gonna take anything away from those beings that were here at that time and that taught what they taught, led people to what they needed to lead people. But it's just giving like I just feel like you could do two things, three things, four things, five things, whatever the fuck you want to do. Like cause it's like like we said, says who. At the end of the day, I feel like we came from some sort of energy. You know what I'm feeling? And I feel like we are all cre like created in that image. Like, even the Bible says, like, we're made in God's image. So, like, why would we not be God body? Why would we not be God beings? You feel me? Like, why would we not be creators creating our own story, living this life, getting our experiences, X, Y, Z? You know what I'm saying? And that, that's kind of where I am when it with it when it comes down to... You know, just I guess the whole concept of it, you know, like just being being godly and being godly and, and also, you know, Shout Johnny John, gets man. on my nerves. We love Johnny. Johnny. I didn't know we were going here. Listen, so, but I, I had no clue we were going. Look, I wasn't ready, but look, I'm not gonna show No, we here. We here. So look, Ooh, my, took here. I lost my train of thought. My my <laughs> my thing is what I was saying is like you know we are godly and, and and we are these type of people and it's like I feel like God will give us just as He has given us different cultures of people we all sitting up here like a rainbow of people Absolutely. right now yeah. you know so when it comes down to different kind of resources to reach him like you know there is the bible there is a oh, tarot cards tarot, there's yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's like what's the big idea you know like isn't it all one it's all one and i feel like universally we're all connected as beings literally and if more people understood that we could be more cohesive on this planet if we understood we are all interconnected in some fucking way. Like, I can't make this up. Like, even meeting you and this whole thing happening today. Now I met you. Who knows what, what business or what shit we might tap into. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody is interconnected. And if we look at everybody as equals, if we look at everybody as one, mm -hmm. and we're somehow on this earth for a specific mission, and whatever your mission is might be helpful to my mission. Like, we could have mu so much more love on this planet. Like, my shirt literally says, I know my little, my little bitties is busting out, but it's like, <laughs> it says, all you need is love. Because mm -hmm. literally, that's all 
all we need. Like, I get it. We have to have duality. You can't have positive if you never know what the fuck negative is. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I would like to see more love than negative, if anything. You feel me? So it's like, why not, like, just look at the bigger picture of things, everybody. Like, put the guns down. Like, I, I know it sounds cliche, but it's just like, we are perpetuating just bull s h i sugar honey iced tea and it's like for what we need love i'm sorry <laughs> that your mama or your daddy maybe didn't hug you but that don't mean you get out here and shoot somebody brains out you feel right. me i'm sorry your bitch left you for something less that don't mean you get out here and you ruin your own life by doing shit that's not in alignment like y'all we really got to look at the bigger picture we got one motherfucking shot at this particular reality be it you believe in reincarnation be it you believe in heaven be it whatever do your big one now like long as your intentions are pure and you're not out here for just the benefit of you but the benefit of like all like come on man we could be winning out here like what the fuck would this shit look like if we just had cohesiveness and harmony you feel me? Like, people not having to look off their shoulder because the ops. Like, what if we literally had just black excellence and brown people excellence, like, just walking around this motherfucker like kings and queens? Like, no police brutality. Like, what the fuck would that look like? I think that's something that comes in stages. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's kind of like school, you know? Like, some people are getting their PhD and some people are in second grade. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? 40 years old in second grade, yeah, too, bitch. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for I'm, sure. You, know, you hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm not, no shame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so when it comes down to that type of thing, I think it's, the, even when it comes down to spirituality, you know, mm -hmm. like, I think it's something that happens in stages, but I, you know, I'm at the point of my life, and I'm, I'm turning 30. Yeah. I'm having a party. This, Look, I feel like let me say everybody it on your life. I'm having, right a, now. I'm having a party yeah, March I'm there. 11th. I'm there. Come, Come on, Pisces. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, I'm there. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but when it comes down to it, like I was saying, I, I do feel that even though a lot of things happen in stages and, and a lot of life, it happens in stages. Mm -hmm. God, you know, like I feel like he is one and, and he can have different type of resources just like it's different type of races of people, black, Mexican, Puerto Rican, white, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? That's my it is, is different, you know, types of spirituality, think different types of resources that we can reach God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like God is is one. Yeah, you know, God like is within too. Like you literally have to just tap within. If you are part of this divine creation, whatever started it all, whatever you believe in, if you're part of that, you can just go within. You don't need to go to a mosque or a church or a friend or a preacher. Yeah. Like you can literally go within and talk to that divine source whenever you want to, whenever you feel like it, and you can tap in. And I feel like. The Matrix just kind of block us from understanding that because if we understood that, mm -hmm. we'd be busting, we'd be popping, and it'd be a whole lot of godly shit going on. You feel me? Sure. And when I say godly shit, I don't mean that dancing in the church. I mean literally like good human, intentional, good being shit. People out here living their mission, people being out here good parents, people being out here good neighbors, mm -hmm. good friends, good siblings. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think we go through things. Obviously, we go through things. And, and, and it takes a very, very open mind to process what you just said. Absolutely. And it's not a lot of people that are very, very open-minded because mm -hmm. we have been taught, and in so many words, being taught is the same thing as being pro. And I think it just all got to do with, like, spirituality, too. I yeah. think at first I was like, the topic of this girl talk will be healing and visions, but it's really deep. It's deeper than all so that deep. goes into that. It's, so deep. it's just spirituality, you know yes, what I'm saying? For so, sure. yeah. And I think another thing is that whether you believe in astrology, numerology, yeah. whatever it is, 
We always, I don't know why, every episode, Johnny, and you could attest for this, we always go into Zodiacs. And I know we kind of, I know you kind of told us to your Zodiac. big three. I think they call it your big three, right? When it's your Cat rising, King. your moon, and your sun. Yes. Uh, remind us what's yours, Johnny. What's uh, yours? I am a Pisces sun, Sagittarius moon. Okay. And I am an Aries rising. Oh, Ooh. my God. So you tell us about that, Aries. Like the naturalness of you, the earth, the glow, it gets Aries so bad. Yeah. I get like, that a lot, yeah. I feel the sun, the fire. I feel all that. Yeah. Like, and I, oh my goodness. Like, Most of me if it is fire, but my core is water. Period. I love you know, that. So I love that. I love it's that. It's a, in a way. Exactly. I love that yeah. so bad. And I know we kind of share the same moon because I know I'm a Sagittarius yes. moon. And Shout out to the Sagittarius moon. <laughs> Give yeah. me some. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's giving, it's crazy because my little crush right now is a Sagittarius. So, like, shout out to the Sagittarius. And Trina Sag, Nicki Minaj said, like, the Sagittarius are fucking winning. Yeah. Like, so shout out to y'all. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm a sure. Scorpio son. You know, I always say, Church Nicole, your favorite Scorpio. Y'all dangerous. And I'm, <laughs> ooh, wait. Why? We both water and both. Wait, AD, you gotta no. tell me. You told Scorpios are dangerous. I've never had any personal encounters with Scorpios, but just me being an astrology bitch and knowing what the fuck y'all be having going on, y'all was little. You feel me? I agree with you guys. I ain't even gonna say crazy, but y'all Scorpios. Listen different. Listen different. You might be different. You might be ascended. Ah. But it's giving. Is you a freak though? Let's get to it. Let's tell them it's girl. It's girl talk. Let's right now. Is that what you read about the Scorpio? <laughs> uh, yeah. Facts. So then. She's talking about <laughs> then with the little eyes to match. It's giving Scorpio energy. So look, it's Gemini rising too. So you know. Oh, girl. Cra- oh, it's giving a nympho psycho crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, man, we're going to get. I think we feel like, man, you got to read our tarot's off camera G because it might get a little too it's gonna get spicy it might get spicy (laughs) should we pull like one card for the energy though yeah absolutely I'm willing to have one card absolutely okay you okay okay absolutely so you guys we're getting ready to get into the tarot with well, the you gotta tell them. me what deck we coming from, though. So we're gonna come from the Give universal love. I ain't gonna slap y'all across the head <laughs> with the tarot. We're gonna come with the oracle deck. Give so us a reminder of, you know, what it so is. So basically, the oracle deck is just your general guidance, your advice, mm-hmm. what you might need to do moving forward, what you might need to be paying attention to at this current time, mm-hmm. what's the energy like, and it's very much given just a simplistic way to kind of tap into spirit and see what spirit is trying to tell you. Where the tarot is more so you're going to get into your meat and potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let me shuffle. And once again, like I said, shout out to the hood healer. Oh, shit, we already got two cards that came out. I'm going to keep these two because they popped out instantly. Mm-hmm. Instantly, we're gonna see what the energy is with that, but I want to get at least one more. But like I said, shout out to Hood Hiller, shout out to the sexual celestial, shout out to Quatita Dean, shout out to Isis Wisdom, Rashad Jamal like just a couple people that I have been following on my journey that I really look up to and that I feel like bring something to the collective that we really need to see and that we really need to hear. And keep doing y'all, y'all are divinely protected, y'all are divinely guided, free Rashad Jamal. And we gonna keep this shit going because the 5D beings, baby, we're here and we're not letting up. It's pick a side season, baby. You're either on the high frequency or on the low, baby. And I choose high every time. Let's get it, AD. We ready. We ready. And that last card We're actually popped all out. nervous in here. Just to let you know. Don't be nervous, you guys. <laughs> so, ain't no ghost gonna pop down. Ain't no ghost gonna pop down. I'm not nervous. I'm definitely into the cards. So, Absolutely. You know. Ain't nothing gonna I'm bad happen, you guys. Really you feel me? Like, we're in here with the Wu Sai. You guys are safe. Like, yeah. literally. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, what? this is all first of all, all we didn't state right. It's all of ours now because we didn't state nobody specific read. Johnny, I'm pulling you something from the tarot. Okay, oh. I, I I can feel that. So but where's me in the middle? Right this here. is you. You want you you feel you the middle energy. energy? I feel so, like I'm in the middle. You know, she feels the middle energy. So we're gonna pull this card for you and we're gonna see what it's giving. Okay, okay come on, okay, Aries. Okay, okay, we're gonna give it reflection. Did I not just talk about how we're reflections of God, this whole fucking series? Yeah. You are such a reflection. You are such a glow. And I feel like you are a direct reflection of the creator because hmm, it's just such a fiery energy to you. Like, it's giving the Aries. It's giving the motherfucking Sag. And it's like, do your big one. There might have been something in your mind that made you feel like, oh, I don't know. I'm questioning myself. I'm questioning shit. Sorry if I'm getting your business on my class. <laughs> but as an Aries, like, you have to, like, don't do that. Like, we got to think about our Aries out here. We got Summer Walker, and we know how this be getting. So you have to just 100% believe in yourself. Keep going. Keep on the ground. You are tapped in you are in alignment you're doing what the fuck you need to be doing but this period we just got out of a full moon you need to do some reflection you might have to go journal you might have to go back to the drawing board recalibrate what you want to do for 23 and i feel like everything you set your mind to is gonna happen queen i swear sure. to god because it's a new moon because it's fine. It's a new moon. Pisces just, come, on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And I feel like the Pisces energy, your birthday is coming up, is going to give like such a renewal, such a rebirth. Like you said, you're hitting a milestone birthday. Yeah. So it's very much giving our life happens in cycles. This is going to be a new cycle for you. So just reflect right now on the things that you've overcome, the strides that you have made, the obstacles that you have faced, and just go into that birthday celebration, celebrating you, and just being happy, being full, being in that moment. You feel me? I can also say that I love where your energy just went when it came down to, you know, like reading these cards. You just became a different person yeah. in a way. Because like, Deo and Musa are two different girls. Like, Deo <laughs> is Deo. But when I'm Musa, like, I'm dead serious. Like, I'm mm -hmm. tapping in the spirit. I'm tapping into my intuition. Like, I'm trying to give you something that's going to feed your spirit in a positive Which way. So, yeah, it turns into, like, a whole alter ego, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, feel yeah. like the ancestors be with me. You feel me? For sure, for sure. And I still want mine from the tarot, but y'all, y'all do Yeah, you already know. <laughs> y'all gonna get y'all cut. So what we doing? We doing Johnny from the tarot, right? We, yeah, I'll listen, take it from listen, the tarot. <laughs> okay. We, like I said, that situation might get super intense. I don't know. What you about to flip over another one? So, yeah, because these are the other two cards. These I'm are the scared. other two cards that came out. So, we got your personal message. We'll sit that one by by you. You got the reflection. Okay. So, some of us collective, we might need to reflect at this time. Like, usually we need to use the full moon or new moon energies to reflect on what we've done this past month. What we might need to release. What we might need to let go of. Moving into a new month, a new cycle, a new season, a new harvest. You feel me? Okay. Oh my gosh. So we got the mystic. I feel like that's just me, bitch. I don't know. Oh, like, man. it's giving the mystic and it's giving golden memories. So, like the reflection card says, some of us could really be having some golden memories at this time. Remembering a time that we hit a stride or remembering a time that we overcame some shit. You want to keep those golden memories near and dear to you because at the end of the day, like, we, we we get these opportunities once in a lifetime. You feel me? You might can remember them. You might can reflect on them. But you actually get to experience them once. So make sure you're out here creating golden memories. Okay? Because period. And the mystic card just tells me, like... The mystic card just tells me, like, it's a lot of people out here ready to tap into their power, ready to type into their magic. And when I say magic, I don't mean bubble boil, toil, and dribble of a <laughs> motherfucking cauldron, bitch. I really mean, like, tapping into yourself, doing your shadow work, becoming whole, like, letting your aura just shine so that you can manifest the life and create the things that you want to create. So I feel like a lot of people are going to be in their mystic energy, their magician energy, really manifesting manifesting and making shit happen like it's gonna be oh my nose ring came out again y'all it's gonna be a quantum leap for so many people in the collective like it's gonna look like overnight celebrity what it twist to say overnight celebrity i can make you a celebrity overnight and it's not about celebrity it's not about clout but some of us are really getting ready to jump into the reality that we've been 
envisioning for ourselves for years and it's gonna look like it came within 24 hours it's gonna look like we hopped in a tan machine goddamn and we <laughs> now we in a mansion goddamn i just was in the basement now we in a rave mm. goddamn mm. i just was in a honda like stop fucking playing like i can't make this up collective we are in such a good energy we are on our way to doing our biggest one and you can't let shit distract you. The shit I'm hearing from spirit is just stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Because if you don't stay focused and you get out of alignment, you could put yourself back in another seven-year cycle, another ten-year cycle. And goddamn, some of us ain't got that kind of time. You feel me? Some of us is up there, bitch. Like, we need the shit to happen right now. So stay focused, my love, Lise. This shit is going on right now. Whatever you set your mind to, whatever you've been hoping, the seeds that you've been planting, they're getting ready to reap if you've been in alignment. If you ain't been in alignment, go back and do your shadow work, hunty. You might got a couple more months, couple more weeks to wait. But the girls and the guys that have been doing their shit with intention, pure intention, it's on the way. March. That's what I'm hearing from Spirit. March. Mm. March man, and that's next month. That's in a week or two. March Stay madness. ready, so you ain't gotta get ready. March. March madness, and listen, Urban Grind TV, y'all, y'all got it tonight. No, y'all did. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, y'all got it tonight, and I'm just, man, it's just amazing to have these kind of energies in the building, and love it. We love that you came and talked about your music, and you talked about what you get deep into as far as the energies and just spirituality like this this episode was definitely about spirituality like uh i don't know we might have to have a part two to this. we gonna have yeah. to yeah we might i mean and i'm, I'm gonna bring i feel I'm like i'm gonna bring a friend next time how y'all definitely. feel about if i bring a friend i think i need to bring Dage money mm-hmm. i think i need to bring la i think i need to bring Dage money because that's next up if I don't cl- shout out nobody, I'm going to shout out my twin, my treacherous, my sister. Fuck yes. you talking about, Deja Monet. Shout out. Um, yeah, so, like, just shout out to my team. I just want to shout out to you. Shout out to my studio home. Shout out to management. Shout out to, like, Trina. Shout out to just everything that's been going on for me in the day land. And I've just been... I feel like getting closer to my soul tribe. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been getting closer to myself. Mm -hmm. And when I do that, that just helps me get closer to y'all. So I just want to bring the vibrations. I want to bring the good music. 420, we have an EP dropping, baby. Like, and it's very much finna give the vibes. You can roll your blunt to. You can smoke to. You can ride down, do Sabu Lakeshore Drive to. Shout out to do Sabu. It's very much given. So, yeah, like, we got some stuff coming up. We got a visual, like I said, dropping on the 28th. And I'm just excited for everybody to see where Dale was going to take it because I'm just such a different artist. Like, and I'm not no narc. Like, I'm not trying to gas myself, but I've been humble for so long. It's time that I let y'all know. I am such a different vibration, such a different way because the people that I've studied, the route that I've just been placed here to do, like, it's just so divine. It's not average. It's not basic. It's not typical. So don't expect that. It's going to be a little sexy. It's going to be a little bars. It's going to be a little rock star. It's going to be a little unicorn. But just ride the ride with me, y'all, because I really wanna, want y'all to see this black girl magic happen right before your ass in the 5D. Like, I really want y'all to see it happen because it's finna go on. And I feel like I just flip two cars i don't know i was just flipping in the moment and i'm gonna let y'all say what y'all gonna say but i feel like these cars are for the collective and me i'm gonna let y'all get into my team we're gonna see what these two cars was spirit holy spirit angels ancestors guys is giving what is the energy for moi and the collective (laughs) let's go Oh my God, page of wands and four of wands. Oh my God, somebody about to be kissing and some shit, loving something, oh, right baby. Now? It's the couple. You talking about right now, not right now, girl. Okay. It's giving maybe in the near future, but it says four of wands and the motherfucking page of wands. So we got two wands. And that's very much giving like messages, swift action, something coming in real quick. Mm, so somebody must got something for me. <laughs> I'm with it, bitch, because I've been single for goddamn about a year now, and it's very much given. I'm ready for my divine counterpart, okay? Somebody that love, can baby. walk this treacherous journey with me, because it do get a little ghetto in the day, land. But you gonna get some love. Don't you gonna get some? Mm, 
you gonna get some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I fried chicken real good. What 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 Ooh, white girl say? Good. You ain't gotta fry a double back the the second time, bitch. So yeah, like it's very much given. I see that for me. I see love. I see romance for me. Cause bitch, it's been a long time coming. I see that fire energy. Okay, Paige and Wallace, who got a message for me? Let's okay. go. Hey, I love it. I know this y'all favorite guest. I know. So I better I be your favorite guest. I'm coming for the time spray. Hey, <laughs> I'm just trying to be your favorite. Yeah. I, I don't have to. <coughs> I don't have to guess. I already Who got know an iPhone charge? My phone did. Oh we got a bunch. Of, we got a bunch of iPhone charges around here. But y'all know what? This was a great episode. Sure. Oh, Amazing sure. episode. Are we all trying to beat on what we doing? Absolutely. But yeah. see, I don't want yeah, an iPhone yeah, charge. I want to capture that shit on my phone. Goddamn. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, we could do it. We could do it. We could do it on the show. Y'all want to do it? Oh, we could do it on the show. We could do it afterwards. We could do it yeah. afterwards. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. We get the text. We get the text. Now, y'all, we gonna get into it. So we're gonna go get our stuff ready because I want some lip gloss on because I feel like this freestyle finna give it. The ancestors are with me right now, and I feel like goddamn, we got some Al Capone energy, big gangster. So it's very much given. We're finna get into a freestyle, but I want to put my lip gloss on because this finna go viral. This finna go world star. This finna go shade room. This all finna that, go. All uh, that, all what's that. the word? This finna go all that noise. This finna go. All mm, in a lot. Come yeah, per so yeah. Let's get it. Hey, y'all already know it's Urban Grind TV, Urban Grind Radio. Urban Grind TV and Radio, Grind TV and radio baby. Your favorite Scorpio, Gemini rising, Sagittarius moon. Shut your Oh, it's your girl Johnny Dimitri, the queen of the ghetto gospel. You Ooh. know, I'm the I'm the Pisces. Yeah. Ooh, Pisces princess. You know, I'm, I'm the Pisces core. I'm the, the Sagittarius 80s. moon. I'm an Aries rising. Capricorn sun, <laughs> Aquarius rising, and moon, honey. But Let's I ain't never it. detached. I'm in touch with you guys. Fuck. For sure. Let's get it. Urban Grind TV, y'all. UGTV Girl Talk. They willing to get a diploma. I'm still mad what happened to Brody. I told her don't bring up a nigga before me. She thinking he lit because he got a little money in a little G-Wagon with a little ass road.